Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Okay guys, I've just arrived in Bath to uh, restart the Cotswold round. Don't know what's happening here. There's like a big queue just to leave the station. So, uh, it's really taking a long time actually. This is the first time. Okay folks, well I'm walking back towards uh, Bath Abbey, which is the end of the Cotswold Way. And the start of today's um, today's uh, hike on the Cotswold Round. Don't know what that building was. It says Friends Meeting House. There's the Abbey up there, Bath Abbey, and over here is uh, Bath um, Geothermal um, Baths Spa. But you have to pay to go in. Which I'm, well, I'm not doing, but I'm um, just gonna have a look around it, see if you can see anything. This is all, of course, this is all, of course, Georgian. Uh, Georgian. It's not, none of it's Roman. There is Roman remains under the city, I believe, under some of these buildings. You can um, view um, some Roman remains, but these bath houses as well as Georgian as well. But the the Romans used the uh, geothermal springs as well. So this is the. King and Queen's bath pump room. Probably saw it last time I was here, yes, on the last episode. And these uh, through here is down to the um, Bath Abbey again, which is where I'm going now. So this is Bath Abbey again, and um, it's the start or end of the uh, Cotswold Way, and it's also the start of. Uh, Today's hike on the Cotswold Round. So, this is the the start or end of the Cotswold Way, and it's the start of my hike today on the Cotswold Round. And then here you've got uh, Bath Abbey again. Probably sick of seeing it now. Seems to be some kind of toll here. No one's paying anyway. So, just heading towards down into the park. It's really busy. And I've got to cross the river on a bridge at some point. Can't see it at the moment. Okay. For some reason unknown, they've got the uh, park gate locked where I've just walked. So I've just got to walk all the way back myself. I don't see the point in that. But there's not a lot of point in anything that's happening at the moment this year, is it really? So it doesn't surprise me. Just got to walk back on myself now. I'm kind of glad I walked back up this way. Got some nice light to get the uh, abbey there and the uh, obelisk. And I'm uh, just walking down this way now on the road because for some, as I said, for some unknown reason, they got the uh, park gate locked over there even though the park is full of other people. Doesn't make sense whatsoever. But there you go. Really is a beautiful city actually. Another beautiful city I like is uh, Edinburgh. That's a really beautiful city. This is much smaller than Edinburgh Bath. It's quite it's a really small city actually. Okay, so now we're making some progress. But um, I've just got to go over the bridge over here. Looks like they've got some roadworks. There seems to be a lot of roadworks around Bath at the moment. I suppose there is a lot, a lot of roadworks all over the country really at the moment. I suppose it's the best time to do it. And there's not so many people about on the roads. Um, although I think I think. Um, 
the uh, amount of traffic has uh, got back to normal levels almost now really to be honest in a lot of places anyway so there's a view of the park but um yeah there's not that many people in there i suppose so yeah i've got to go over this uh this bridge now so more road works going over the bridge i don't know how old this bridge is it's probably not that old to be honest it looks old but it's probably not um 1836 which is pretty old not the oldest bridge in the world it's probably been re re uh, done up since then obviously otherwise it'll collapse um georgian style bridge as i said it's a uh, a lot of the art architecture around bath is georgian style as i said now uh, i'm walking back on myself here but i'm just filming this because Look at that bridge over there. I think that's one of the famous bridges of uh, Bath. They've got one going over, they've got a few famous ones going over the canal here as well, but I don't think we're walking that way. I'm not walking towards the canal, but yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so I am actually walking along the Kennet Navy Canal. Um, it seems for a bit anyway. Um, uh, some information here if you want to read it. Pause it if you want to read it. Some, some really nice buildings along this canal it's beautiful it's supposed to be one of the most beautiful canals in the country along with the oxford canal and the leeds and liverpool canal glad we're walking along the canal for a bit this is uh bridge number 188 um it's nice along here isn't it oh, look at this It's a very beautiful city. I'm still in Bath, by the way, going along the Kennet and Navan. I presume this is um, the canal path. Looks like a canal hire boat place. I'm walking along now. Uh, look at the architecture. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, unfortunately, I just had to come off the Kennet and Navan canal because the section of canal I was about to do apparently is closed at the moment. I don't know why. It looked all right, but for whatever reason, it's closed. Uh, maybe they're cutting trees or something, I don't know. Well, got to see a bit of a train track with a bridge, I guess, as I've had to make a diversion, so something good comes out of something. Just walking down here on the diversion. So, so I think I can get to the, um, the canal up the path where those people are going up there. Okay. So apparently this bridge was put up in 18th century and I'm back on the Kennet Navin Canal by the way guys. So here's one of the many um, amazing bridges you get along the Kennet and Navin. I think it was one of the um, stipulations of building this canal was that the bridges have to be fitting with the architecture of the city. Um, that was one of the stipulations of having this canal built, I believe. So it's stunning. You, you can see Cotswold Hills in the distance. Um, the other side, I can see the city. I don't know what this is here. Uh, it's not a narrow uh, gauge uh, canal. Um, you can fit wide beam boats on here. It's quite busy at the moment. That boat looks like it'd be more at home on the sea, doesn't it? than a um, canal. Coming up to another bridge, a footbridge this time, doesn't look very old, to be honest. That's quite a new bridge. Bridge number 185. <laughs> Been a bit of a canal bridge spotter at the moment. Okay, there's some information about the canal here, Kennet Navin Canal. Um, 87 miles long apparently um, yeah if you want to read that pause it keep your hands off my ass seriously the donkey bites fingers <laughs> probably should look where I am <laughs> I have no idea but I'm, this is by the Kennedy Avery Canal. I've got to go back on it just for a little bit 
then it comes off the canal the path but I just thought I'd stop and have a look at this church it's quite nice I'll probably put the name up on the screen where I am some information here hmm. <laughs> so at some point a bird shit on my bag so I'm, I'm gonna have to get the wipes and wipe it off there are bins here so that's all right but years ago people would have told you you got bird shot on your bag but um people just don't tell you stuff like that anymore <laughs> they just watch the bird shit on your bag and um just carry on with life while you've got poo on the back of your bag and no one tells you okay folks it's the first rubbish time of the day i hope that's a rubbish bin it looks like it well folks, I take it this is going to be a housing estate. It's got the word homes written at the bottom. I've come off the uh, Kennet Navin Canal now, by the way. Whenever I see signs for new housing estates and they've not been built yet, it reminds me of Back to the Future when he goes back in time, I think, to the 50s and the housing estate where he lives is just being built. <laughs> reminds me of that. So folks, I've got a level crossing here to cross um no trains coming at the moment supposed to stop and listen can't see any made it across alive well now i'm walking along the uh train track just going over the river oh, it's hot Still on the outskirts of, I don't know, I don't know if it's Bath or just some little towns around Bath, but it probably joins the uh, Bath catchment area now, I think. I should say that this um, part of this route is part of the Midmillan Way as well at the moment. So I'm on the Midmillan Way again, and it's also my, my Cotswold Round Way, which I'm doing at the moment. Uh, looks like we're coming up to. Um, Another park, or some, uh, it's like a rugby ground or something. Um, I think this is a town surrounding Bath. I don't think it's actually Bath itself. Barford, apparently. Ironically, the first um, sign I sent for the Cotswolds right by a busy road. The Crown Bistro Pub. This is in, uh, I can't remember the place it's called now. I'll put it up on the screen. Remember, Help to keep our business safe. Do not travel if you're unwell. You must wear a face mask. Board the bus at one at a time. Use a contact if payment method is possible. Keep your distance when on board and be patient and listen to instructions from the driver. So this place, this place is called Barford and they have a community village shop which is also a calf by the looks of it. Looks like it's open. Oh, so hot. I'm gonna. I've got enough drink, but I might as well get a drink while I'm here. Cold drink. All helps, doesn't it? Ah. Oh. Community shop. Titan Drive. Don't know if I'm going down here. But it's in the shade, so maybe I'll sit here for a second in the shade. So I've got a uh, tuna and lettuce from the shop and a Lucasade, I sonic Lucasade. The Lucasade was £1.49 and the tuna roll was £2.75. Um, they had quite a strict um, you know, system because of the current situation in there. So I had to walk around a certain way around the shop. Um, as you're doing a lot of shops at the moment, um, so I understand that and in this shop you have to um, clean your hands before you go in it said on the sign so I did that um, don't have to wear a mask at the moment but obviously by the time this video is out yeah you'll have to wear a mask in all shops around well England anyway but it's a small amount of rubbish but every bit of rubbish counts so it's bin time again folks okay well I presume I'm going the right way. I think there's like some new builds going on down here. Looks like it's finished. Well, I presume it is. Yeah, I like to say the people in the uh, community shop were very friendly and I have been in that community shop before. 
It's a good little community shop actually. The, uh, I just had the tuna roll. It was lovely. Uh, 275 for a roll. That's, that's probably better than supermarket or about the same price but obviously it's uh, much fresher from a community shop. Well, I'm guessing it is. It was like obviously handmade. Uh, maybe in the shop I'm not sure. But uh, the, the bottle of drink was probably about the same price as a super, you pay in the supermarket now, uh, which is all right. Um, and of course it's a community shop, so it's going to people in the local area. So if you're doing this uh, Cotswold round, um, yeah, take a look in the shop. And um, yeah, it's worth checking out. Not sure what this is. It sounds like some kind of generator there. Um, it's all fenced off whatever it is is it a water turbine there's a there's a river here but it's not a it's certainly not fast flowing check the algae out in it look how green that is wow I'm gonna have to get a photo of that as well I think yeah if anyone knows what this uh, this is here let us know in the comments. I mean, it might say in a sign down here. Yeah, probably should have uh, had the lights for this bit. I'm going through a tunnel. I don't know how well this is coming out. Probably coming out completely rubbish because I've got it on ICO 100 on the GoPro 8 in the dark and no light. And we're at the end of the tunnel. I'll check out this old tree. Just like someone's put a look out in it or it used to be a tree house or something it's very old still alive small barns up here all right i am on the right path i can see the sign i thought it was never old uh i think it's like a hunting hide when you're shooting birds or deer or something, they sit up in the trees. Some pig shout was there. No pigs about today by the looks of it. So sheep taking shelter out in the sun. Sorry guys, don't move. Don't blame. They'll be quiet. Sorry guys. So that's why I just come up and I'm still on the McMillan Way as well. There's a little sign for it there. I love these old road signs. I'm going down that road by the way. Just showing you the sign here. Oh folks, that uh, manor house up there looks like a manor house. According to the sign, it's a care home I believe. Bit of a posh care home, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's not a bad place to retire, I'd imagine. Don't wouldn't really want to be in a care home though. But if you're going to be in one, that's quite nice. Probably more expensive than what most people can afford, I'd imagine. But if you can, why not? not really, I'm not really into fantasy films and stuff. I, I love watching movies, but I have seen the X-Men movies. And I swear that house, I don't know if I'm wrong, that, that manor house, the, the care home, actually looks like the house that was the um, the training ground or the educational ground for the X-Men. If anyone's ever watched that, I don't know, it just looks like it. There's probably obviously a lot of houses that do look like that, but for some reason it really does look like that house. Might may be wrong. Uh, check this out guys. I'm on a little island in the river. Not sure what river is this called. Maybe I'll pull it up on the screen. Just stop for a rest. Oh my god. Just noticed that. Can you see that bridge along there? Look at the state of that bridge. That's long past use. You know guys. I could sit here all day, this is such a nice resting spot, but I am doing a trail so I'm going to start heading on, but it's been nice relaxing here by the uh, 
stream or the river, whatever it's called. As I say, I should have put the name up on the screen by now. Okay, so the next village is Box. There's actually a service station on the road by the nearer village. But Box has got on the Coles uh, shop, which is also a takeaway apparently, uh, which is open to 10. I think I'm going to go to Box, that, that shop there, and that'll be my last shop for some time. Even though I've got two, three litres of liquids on me, I might as well make use of it while I'm going past it, because the next shop is pretty far away, and I, I'm not water filtering in this part of the country. Um, that's just my preference, I know other people do, which is cool, but um, I just don't want to filter water where there's loads of farm farms around us. Water filters don't filter out chemicals, so... I don't want to be drinking loads of pesticides and although I know we end up eating it but um, I think it would be more concentrated in the rivers by the farms I'm uh, just not going to risk it <laughs> Wow look all these sheep on the path <laughs> Let's wait for these guys to go past chicken <laughs> running on the path there so I went on the other side of this it really wasn't clearly marked now I look more closely at the OS map and I could clearly see the well not clearly but just about show the path was on this side of the hedge I'm okay mate chill out don't worry he's running away from me poor bugger no, he's not going to come this way. Why aren't we stopping it? No. Nope. Another tunnel to go under. Probably not coming out very well. I think it's a railway tunnel. Church here. Probably closed like all... Well, actually quite a lot of churches are open now. So this is uh, the church uh, graveyard on the outskirts of a box. I don't know if it's a town or a village. I have been here once before because I believe it's still on the Millen Way. This, this part of the path isn't. I've just gone off the trail a little bit to come into this uh, village or town. It's beautiful. See? I'll check this out. It looks like a drunk tank. A blind house. I don't know if it's a drunk tank. Let me know in the comments. I'll probably find out. Well, I'm glad I took a detour to come into box. I don't know if I did before. I think I've got a feeling I've been in here before. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, this road's a little bit busy. Hopefully no one's going to come slamming into the back of me. This road is so busy. I don't know what this uh, is here. If it's like a um, spring or some kind of well, wishing well or just a water faucet or something else. It's not in use now. It doesn't look very drinkable at the moment anyway. Okay, so well, I'm guessing this is a little bit better shot. Hopefully I don't fall off the railings. Okay, so 
I'm just going to go to the news agents here and stock up on a drink. Okay, so got some more rubbish to chuck away. Okay guys, well, that's the post office and I am just going back on trail down this way. Well this river walk is still the same river from earlier I believe is uh, really nice because it's been really busy along this last bit of section uh, from Box. Now it's gone quiet along this farmland which doesn't seem to be anyone about. Yeah, along this river, this time of year, seems to be very popular for swimming. So many people along it. Um, uh, obviously, was, this isn't the National Trail now, this is part of the Cotswold Round, well away from the Cotswold Way, so I'm expecting it to be quiet, but of course it's like peak season now, isn't it? Um, for holidays, certainly not peak season for hiking. I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally hike. Uh, this time of year because of the, the heat I usually wait to it cools down a bit and more quieter so I'm not really, really used to this amount of people really on the hike in the countryside but I think it's because of the river I'm walking on the river at the moment and there's probably quite a few villages nearby and they're making the most of it I guess it's really nice you can't blame people for going for a swim in there like I mean to be honest if I could put my tent up here, I would as well. Muller and Aldi. Wooden farm. <sighs> so I've just walked up here. Just walked up here. I'm walking down again. I'm just videoing it for you. Um, very busy down there in the, the river, but very nice. I have a few ideas for some camping spots. Um, light and trees, anyway, be out of the sun, because it is so hot today. Uh, I bought another litre and a half of water from the shopping box. So what have I got now? I got, I've got more than enough liquids, I think, to last me to the next shop. Oh wow, it's so hot for hiking, I can tell you. Too hot for hiking, to be honest. I'm at the point, I can't think whether it's worth carrying on or camping further. Camping further up these trees. Looks like there might be somewhere to camp, but it's only like six o'clock. I think I should carry on, actually. I think I can get a lot further. I'm being lazy, I think. Yeah, I'm going to carry on. Okay, so this wood is called Monk's Wood. Still by the river. Looks like a, an abandoned farm, that farm over there. Well, it's definitely not lived in. There's no windows. Looks like it's been partially boarded up. Um, but it looks like the field's still being used because the grass is short, so it must have cattle in there. So I, I think pretty much the whole way this Macmillan Round uh, track is going to use the um, Macmillan Way basically the whole way on the way back for the loop. So going from Banbury to Bath mostly it uses the Cotswold Way then coming back mostly it uses the uh, Macmillan Way it seems uh, both which I've done before doing this uh, trail. Um, both I walked in different directions but I did them before yeah that's right I walked them in different directions that's cool so it gives a slightly different perspective on when I did do them last which was going back some years now anyway so it's bringing back a few memories every time I go past somewhere familiar so there's a sign up there saying wildlife please keep to the path I was just talking just then, I didn't realise there was a group of people watching me. I think they thought I was talking to myself. <laughs> Funny. There's so many people out. It is a hot day though. 
it's not really good for hiking it's all right for lounging around in the sl sl shade but it's like so hot for hiking bit muddy oh, that is a four-wheel drive track isn't it <laughs> you're not going to get through here with a normal vehicle that's for sure Yeah, I've decided I'm going to keep walking for longer, a bit longer. I'm loving this uh, woodland along here. But obviously, I can see these, there's fresh tracks along here. Uh, the farmer must use this, or other vehicles must use this quite regularly. It's definitely been used recently. Uh, actually, guys, when you're on a path, hiking path in... Uh, England a good way to find out um, the county you're in is look at the little arrows on the gates um, a lot of them will actually tell you the county you're in so I'm actually in Wiltshire at the moment I thought I was still in Somerset but yeah no it's Wiltshire look folks we've got the makings of a cave here I believe that's limestone well folks I remember Slaughterford when I did the Macmillan Way and here I am again. I'm not going this way but I'm just having a look at the bridge in the river from here. Looks quite nice. Ah, that's quite nice actually. A bit muddy down there actually. So this is coming up into Slaughterford Village. Okay, so this is the uh, the church at Slaughterford, which I'm having to film from this side because the the way the sun is shining at the moment. Beautiful. Actually, reminds me a bit of the uh, church at Little Rollright near Rollright Stones. Have to say, this is probably one of my favourite churches. Uh, on the whole of the uh, Macmillan Way. Um, this, of course, I'm, as you know, I'm doing the um, Cotswold Round at the moment, which uses a lot of the Macmillan Way. Beautiful church. And this is the uh, front of the graveyard at the church in Slaughterford. It's actually surrounded by a farm and cows. I do remember that from last time. That's what I like about it. It's just in the centre of a farming field and sort of like dry stone walled off from the farm really is beautiful and there's the, the, the cattle outside Last time I come here on the Macmillan Way, I bet there was a phone in that phone box. It was a very misty morning. I didn't get a very good picture of it last time. Well, folks, I can confirm there's still actually a phone in here. Looks like it's working as well. So I'm coming downhill a little bit because I went a bit too far uphill. Easy done sometimes when you think you're following a path and it's not you get a bit carried away. There was a nice place to camp up there actually, but uh, I think the uh, the landowner was like looking up the hill, so yeah, I thought better of it. I've got an idea where I want to camp anyway, so I'm going to go a bit further. I'm not going to tell you where because I'm keeping my locations where I camp. Uh, the exact location secret as I can now. So now folks, I'm um, heading towards a village called Ford and I've got to cross this bridge here. Absolutely gorgeous. The light's getting better. That's a good thing about walking to the end of the day. Oh, 
Beautiful. I'm really surprised the Cotswolds is not a national park. It's definitely an area of outstanding natural beauty and history I would say. It's an area of a lot of history, beautiful villages. It's not just the nature, it's that the villages are just so beautiful. Private fishing club and no bikes, no swimming and no picnics. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I can't remember the name of this village but this is the church of it. And there's also a red phone box. Looks like it's got a phone in it as well. Yeah guys, it's actually got a phone in it and it looks like it's still in use. Looks like they've got accommodation in this village. The White Heart, I think it's the pub I just passed. I didn't film it, there was loads of people there. Looks like that phone, um, that uh, post box is out of service. Chinocular! Often see these when I'm out hiking. So, I plan on um, being at Castle Coombe in the early hours of the morning to get some good footage of the uh, village. It's absolutely stunning there. Um, there are going to be some places on the way before I get there to camp. It is the next village, but I, I can. I did camp in between here um, when I did the Midmillan Way, I remember that. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a, quite a few places to camp coming from this way. So, um, yeah. So whenever I find a place to camp, that's where I'm camping. It should be soon, I hope. I don't know what this village is called, but it's very beautiful. So, we're still in Wiltshire. At this farm. So this is heading towards Castle Coombe. Along this uh, valley with the river. I don't know if it's still the same river. I'm guessing it is. It's beautiful along here. A lot of forest land as well on the way. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video and I'm wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.